Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode two of Personalist Does Let's Play Fallout 4 Edition with the new subtitle of Jekyll and Hyde. Um, if you read the description on my first episode of the Fallout 4 Let's Play, you would see that I'm abandoning the vote idea as far as character morality goes, and instead I'm using an idea I got from a user on Reddit whose username I won't say, not because they told me not to, but because I didn't yet get an answer on whether or not they would want me to. But they had a great idea where every episode I flip a coin, and depending on what result I get from the coin flip, that will determine my alignment. I have uh, a Hearthstone coin from a loot crate, and one side has the number one on it, and the other side has a mana crystal on it. And this is the coin I'm going to use to determine my morality. Uh, if the coin lands with the one face up, I will be good for the entire play, that entire episode. If the mana crystal is the side that is up, I will be an asshole for that episode. And then at the beginning of every episode, I'm going to flip the coin, announce the results, and we'll play through. Um... This could get tricky for factions, just because, I mean, if there's a clearly evil quote-unquote faction, I'm going to do stuff for them, which could get me infamy with another faction if it's like New Vegas. But no matter what, I'm going to follow the coin, even if that makes a faction that I've gained, you know, some good reputation with dislike me. And um, as far as the side quest voting goes, if I get enough views, I will stay with that. If not, then every Tuesday, Thursday, I'm just going to pick a side quest that I want to do. And it'll be side quest Tuesdays and Thursdays, main quest Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I uh, might spatter some side quests in on Monday, Wednesday, Friday if there's one that really gets me curious. But okay, uh, without further ado, let's flip the coin and see what our morality is going to be for this episode. We got the mana crystal. So that means that we are Mr. Hyde for this playthrough. Just a real son of a bitch. Alright, so let's get on this elevator and see what the new wasteland is all about. Ah, okay. So just like the other games before you go out into the main world, they let you change things if you want. I think I'm gonna stay the way I am. Appearance, stats, everything. I'm really excited to see the new wasteland. Uh, it's supposed to be huge. It's supposed to have lots of variety. Lots to do. I'm super excited. The variety is what's got me really excited because Fallout New Vegas had a really cool world. But I felt like a lot of it looked the same. It was a lot of desert and stuff like that. So we'll see. Still adjusting to the sunlight. This will probably be my reaction too. Because the world is not so pretty anymore. There is our old neighborhood. Wow. Yeah, people can say what they like about them not really pushing the graphics as far as they maybe could have. But I think it looks great. I mean, I think it looks awesome. So, um, you know, I saw the E3 thing, and I'm thinking that the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our old neighborhood and check out our old house. Um, if that video in E3 is the way that the game is now, our robot Codsworth should still be there. Okay, so L2 is sprint, and it takes up our action points. Or L3 is sprint, and it takes up action points. I like the music. Oh, and just so everybody knows, I um I read that there's a pos there's a possibility of copyright issues if you play the in-game radio song. So I'm not gonna play the radio at any point until I know for sure that I'm not gonna get my YouTube channel 
like shut down or my audio removed from my videos. And here's Codsworth. It's good to see you too, Codsworth. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be an asshole, so... Uh, let's see, what is the most asshole answer? Everything's dead. God, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's I look so dead. old. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the gum. Uh, the posies have been uh, problematic, I admit. So little more oh, than the posies, Codsworth. Where is she, by the by? Wow, way to bring up my dead wife. Uh, they... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, you're really bringing up some sore subjects here. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years. So... Wow, 200 years. God damn it. All right, Tell me answer what's me. Going on. 200 years? That's insane. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. Good Lord. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> oh, God's worth, you're such a joker. <laughs> you must be famished. Um, he, at times, people with, will withhold information or caps. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing. The difficulty of successfully persuading someone is indicated by color, yellow, easy, orange, medium, red, hard. Um, I'm going to... Try that out and hit the yellow one. You're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I, I, okay, we got experience for that. Sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to Is our robot to expressing emotion right now? I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish <laughs> rust? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, let's tell him to stop, stop it. Get to the point. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... Sorry, Codsworth, the vault was a no-robot club. I did find this holotape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Okay. Uh, I am an asshole, so, so I will say it's not much left. That's not all that's left, sir. There's still you. And me. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. I highly doubt that, but... Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Yeah, mutant mosquitoes. Uh. All right. Sure. Lead, Lead the way. way. So we'll follow the robot. This could be kind of like a tutorial thing. 210 years, though. I'm wondering how long after we were cryogenically frozen they took the baby. Because I'm curious as to how old our kid is if they're still alive. 
Hey, Cogsworth. Mr. Chris, don't worry. Oh, he just said my name. This should be fun. What? What are you doing, man? Oh my God. Bloat flies already. Nice. Good job, Codsworth. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Wish I knew how to use vats. I'm heavily dependent on vats in these games. Although, I gotta say, the aiming feels tighter in this Fallout than it did in, say, New Vegas. New Vegas, it was probably just me, but I always felt like the aiming was just a little off. Ooh, bottle caps. Don't mind if I do. Get him, Codsworth. You're just... Just letting him shoot you. Do I have to do everything around here, Codsworth? I love that they say your name. They're really gone, aren't they? Cosworth, you're so sad you're clipping into the ceiling. Um, this whole thing was a waste of time. I only wanted to help, sir. Maybe you could try Concord. I've seen people in that area, and they're only slightly heavily armed. Only slightly. Uh, man, do I want to be, like, outright you're useless, or do I want to be sarcastic? Ugh. You're just pointing me in a random direction. Well, I'm afraid that's all I have. But you know best, sir. I'm sure you'll find young Sean, one way or another. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Oh, thank you, because it's such a home front to be secured. Lots of useful stuff. I'm going to explore the houses. See if I can't find anything. Okay, so so far I've been exploring the houses. I haven't found much. But I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, the fridge has writing on it, and it's actually, like, legible writing on the pieces of paper. A lot of games, you know, if there's a book with a text on it or something. Uh, ooh, look at that. Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. But yeah, there's actual writing on stuff. It's pretty cool. I just took a bread basket. I don't know why. Uh, there's a crafting system in this game, and it's hard to tell what is going to be useful for that and what isn't. Okay, so I looked around a bit. Didn't really find too much. I found some buff out and a red bandana, which I'm actually going to see if I can equip... If I can... There we go. Circle brings up the pit boy I gotta remember that. Uh, let's see. So, inventory. Apparel. Yep, I can equip the bandana. Got my wedding ring on. A new vault suit that's the same as my old. So that's okay. Let's see what... I know there's a way to get into a different view, but I don't remember how to do it. There we go. Nice. Looking mad sweet in my bandana. There must be someone who can help you with Concord. Is that all you got to say, Codsworth, now? So, apparently we need to go to this Concord place. Um, I recently, while I was looking around, received permission to mention the name of the Reddit user who gave me the idea for the Jekyll and Hyde idea. Uh... It is, I, I think I'm saying this right, Game Weezer or Game Wiser. Uh, they have a channel on YouTube of their own, which I will link to in the description of this video. Um, so, you know, as, as a thanks for them giving me this great idea. So please check out their channel. And yeah, let's make our way to Concord and we'll check out this mailbox looking oh trash can cat bowl and something. To throw grenades or place mines, equip them and then hold and release R1. Did I just find a mine or something? 
I gotta pay more attention when I pick things up. Oh, yeah, found some grenades. So, I, I still need to figure out, let's see, R1 is favorites. Nice, okay. We'll put bombs on the left. So we got a couple grenades. Ooh, hello. Nice. Mongrel dog meat. Oh, I can take the tire iron out of it. That's awesome. I wasn't sure if they were going to let me do that. Um, I should probably check my map and make sure I'm even heading in the right direction, huh? Think that's a good idea? Okay, so sanctuary. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's just the town. Maybe there's no real enemies in there or something. Concord, investigate. Can I place a marker? No. Oh, I can access my perk chart from here. Nice. This is cool. So, I have six agility, as I already know. Oh, I can go to the next rank? Oh. Oh, I have points. Where are these points coming from? Is there, like, a counter I'm missing that shows me how many points I have? Really confused. Uh, let's put up our agility. Whoa. I love sneaking. Oh, what is... Can I... Uh oh, man. This is about to get complicated, guys. Um, As I'm doing this and having no idea what I'm doing, feel free in the comments to explain whatever I don't understand or seem to not understand. So this is, wow, this is interesting. Non-automatic pistols do 20% more damage. Yes, please. I love guns. This character is going to be sneaky, lighter armor, uh, smaller guns, uh, rifles, pistols, use some machine guns, shotguns, stuff like that. Path closest to your quest target is displayed in vats. That is interesting, but I seem to be... Hey, what happened? I thought I put points in that. I did. Whoa. Okay. We're gonna do that. I think I have to hit X maybe to finalize it. I wonder if it's just... If it's just showing me what happens ahead of time so that I can decide when I actually get points. Because that would make more sense. I'm going to guess that that's what's happening. And we're just going to head for Concord. I don't see... Okay, it is... It, oh, it's marked on my compass. I'm an idiot. I'm looking, like, on the screen. As if there's going to be a marker on my screen. I've been playing too much Metal Gear Solid Five, apparently. Red Rocket, what could that possibly be referencing? I don't know. I doubt it has anything to do with dogs. Red Rocket Truck Stop. Let's see, it's probably something interesting this. We're gonna press the button because, yeah, okay. That's not that exciting, I guess. Weapons Workbench, crafting. Okay, let's uh, take a look at this crafting menu. Current mods. Okay, so it's got mods on it. They're all standard, that's cool. And we can name the weapon. We can scrap stuff. Uh, can I modify? Okay. Okay. Can I do the glow sights? I have the stuff for it. But I don't know if I want to do that. Standard receiver. I mean, I feel like this 10mm pistol is probably going to get me through a good chunk of the beginning of the game. So it might be worth upgrading. But I'm just, I'm going to wait. I just, I don't want to find, I don't want to find a better gun later on and regret using, oh nice, and regret using my stuff on the 10 millimeter. And I'm sure it won't be, what is this workshop? Oh. Move between, blah, blah, blah. So the workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove nearby objects and structures? 
Workshop objects are built from components. When building an object, components are automatically harvested from junk items in your inventory or the workshops. What? I knew there was something like this in the game, but this is, you can make stores? I can make like a, like a town. Looks like I can make like a, a legit settlement. Wow. Oh my god, what is this? The Sims meets Fallout 4? How does this work? I don't have... Oh wait, I do have enough, but... No, I'm gonna wait. I'm hoping that there's like a tutorial or something for all of us later on, just so I don't make stupid decisions. Hold the touchpad to open the workshop menu while in the build area. So this is a build area, I'm guessing? Uh, okay. Ooh, I will take the pre-war money. Not gonna take the folder. I don't know why I would. Ham radio. I can turn it on, but there's nobody talking, so... I think I heard 3-Dog is supposed to be in this game, so that'll be interesting. Uh, what do we got here? A cap stash. Nice. Right away. Uh, Red Rocket Terminal. Let's see what this thing's got for us. Business entries. Um, safe storage. Okay. Take care of these. Take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer-term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Interesting. The Rosa Widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Blah, blah, blah. How much for in the cave? Talking about restoring a car for some lady. New equipment installed. Finally got all the tools we need to machine our own parts, so they're talking about probably the workbenches and stuff in there. Okay, so I think the important takeaway from that... Oh, look, it's the, uh, it's an NCR poster. Um, the important takeaway from that is definitely... We'll take a microscope. Definitely going to be the cave underneath this place. What do we got here? Cigarettes, usually you can sell those. I took a Boston Bugle. Let me see if I can find this cave. Because that's what I'm interested in. Nuka Cola machine, nice. We'll take that. Cigarette machine with nothing. Oh, wait, there's a pack on top. Greet the dog, it says. Oh, hello, doggy. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Uh, you're a mutt. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Okay, so that's... Wow, that's how you get your first companion. <clears throat> let's, uh... Let's talk. <laughs> Fat tricks? You, know any tricks? you got some tricks for me? Nice. Okay. Let, let's just explore, dog. That's pretty cool. I know you can train the dog. What are you barking about? Where are you? What the hell? Where'd he go? Yeah, I can already tell I'm gonna have trouble keeping track of him. Oh, there he is. What did you get? You are just the best boy. What a good dog. I wonder if my dog in real life would be this helpful in the apocalypse. Probably not. Sad to say. Hard hat, yes please. Oh, a drifter outfit. I forgot I picked this up. Alright, let's see. Ooh, yeah. We're a badass now. We don't know what we want to be. We got a bandana, we got a hard hat, we got a leather coat. The old trim plate shop. We're gonna take it all because I have no idea what's useful or what's not. What? Hello. Dog found an enemy. I will exit. 
I won't make man's best friend fight on his own. Where are you, doggy? Oh my god. Get out of here, mole rat. Bunch of naked mole rats. Alright, doggy. I appreciate you. And all of the use I'm going to get out of you, but... You need to stick by me. I don't need you aggroing just anything and everything in the wasteland. Alright, so how the hell do we get to this cave? That is supposed to be below the shop. Telephone? Can't use it, of course. Maybe the cave entrance is down this way? Hey, look at that. Thought that was going to take a lot longer. Uh, extinguisher, I bet that'll come in handy for something. Going into this cave is probably a mistake, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to check it out. Might be some kind of good item. I mean, it's right by... The beginning of the game so it can't be that hard right uh, just in case I'm going to equip some backup weapons uh, let's see grenades are equipped let's get the shotgun equipped right side will be the gun side oh wait I want to get that tire iron equipped too just in case I'm fighting things that I can avoid using ammo on that'll go up all right it's time to get sneaky, guys. Brain fungus. Sounds awful. Oh. Alright. Boy. Hey, that's cool. You whisper when you're in uh, sneak mode. Hold. Stay. Don't, don't fucking bark. Take a Inspect look. glowing fungus. What? What? That is the coolest thing ever. Okay, let's get a sneak attack on... Oh, shit. Let's get a sneak attack. Boom! Oh, 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 oh my god. They're mad. I killed their brother. Mole rats are a lot uglier than they used to be. Oops. I gotta get used to the controls, guys. Sorry. I keep thinking circle is duck. Nuka-Cola! I haven't seen any... Brain fungus, okay. I haven't seen any sunset sarsaparilla bottles yet. That might not be a thing in this game. I don't know. Okay, can we get more meat? Yes, please. We'll cook. I don't really want a plastic spoon. Hey. Okay, so I can send him ahead of me to places. That is so cool. What an awesome... Okay, rads. Um, let's try to get in there quick, I guess, and see if there's anything. Nothing? Is there gonna be nothing? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, okay. I got scared, so I didn't really see what that was. Uh, doggy, get out of the reds. Is there something else by this thing? What is that? Fusion core. I bet that is something expensive that we can sell. Uh, let's see what we got, because I got scared. Uh, let's see... Let's... I'm gonna drink one of those. Grognak Trash Busters Award. I don't know what that is. R3 to inspect. Let's zoom in. I can't read it. Can't really do much of anything with it. I'm gonna keep it just in case. It's useful later, who knows. Uh, let's see, I think we came from over there, so we're gonna go this way. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought he was dead. You dead yet? What the hell, man? That is a strong... Wait, 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 no. No, you can come with me. Uh, okay. What do we got? Duct tape, an adjustable wrench. Uh, ooh, a safe. Nice. 
And we can do this. Okay, adjust the bobby pin with L, use R, turn the screwdriver. Okay, so it's just like in in New Vegas. There we go. Uh frag mine. Mall yes. Overdue book just out of curiosity, I will take it. Cork and leather, so I'm guessing I can break items down to use for crafting. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, okay, the dog is... That is an odd angle. Spider dog, spider dog. Okay, I think... I think I've been... Yeah, that's it. That's it for the cave. So we will leave, and we will continue on our way to Concord. Haven't really run into too many people or decisions of a moral nature, so I haven't really gotten to do much Mr. Hiding It Up. But, you know, I'm sure that as the game goes on and we meet more and more people and get involved with more and more people, there will be plenty of opportunities. Being that this is a Mr. Hyde episode, I will gladly steal, murder, lie, and just be an asshole. Okay, so I got to Concord. Hold circle to open perk chart. Okay, here we go. So, I guess... Uh, okay, choose one. Okay, so that's where it says down at the bottom. It says how many points I have. Let's see. Nothing especially sneaky until down here. Man, I don't know. Wow, there's... Holy cow, this is a big perk chart, right? That's pretty cool. We're gonna go with Gunslinger, just because I will be relying a lot on my guns. I think... I think I'm good. Right? Okay. So we choose that one. Noise. Noise. Alright. So we're in Concord, correct? Let's uh, take a look around. Not terribly populated so far. What's that? Cap stash. Nuka Cola Quantum. Some sugar bombs. Very, very nice. Um, oh, there's an upstairs. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys watch me go through every single house. But we will explore. If I find anything of interest, then I will edit to that point and let you guys see advanced. I probably can't. Nope. Definitely want to get my lockpick up ASAP. So I think the next time... Ooh, chemicals. Drugs. Um, the next time I level up, I will spend point. There we go. Shortcut. I will spend points on lockpicking. Okay, so far Concord doesn't have much to offer. I hear some gunfire though. Oh, oh, okay. So we got a battle up here. Don't really know what it's all about. I'm gonna try to stay out of it. Oh, shit. That guy just went down. Oh, raiders. Okay. Who's that? NCR? That might be NCR up there. Oh, shit. I don't want no trouble. Okay, so the raiders are already trying to kill me, so I'm going to go ahead and kill them. 
Oh, I know I can win this. You ain't nothing. I still don't know how to use vats, and I'm not happy about it. Ah! Die! Um, I don't really have a choice but to help these people, so I guess I gotta kind of go against being Mr. Hyde. Okay, strip that guy down naked. Okay, so I guess they want me to equip the laser musket. Um, where are we? Laser musket. <laughs> That's cool. It can be charged. Can I go in the building? Into the Museum of Freedom. Uh, locate the trapped settlers. So I was supposed to go in here. I can hear gunfire already. Raiders up there. Is that a raider? Is it? I can't tell. I think it is. I don't know how to shoot this thing. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so every time I want to shoot it... Great. Every time I want to shoot this gun, I have to press square to, like, charge it. Man, I'm wondering if I missed some kind of tutorial for VATS. Nice miss. I'm getting... I'm getting tore up. I'm gonna die. This is bad. Use a stim pack. I don't really like this gun. Come on. I need to get up there, but I don't know how. Let's make a run for this doorway that I just noticed. No more British occupation, huh? Ah, oh, eh, this is funny. Jackanapes, huh? That's, uh, that's some strong language. Alright, I want to get up there with them. Here we go. Hehe. <laughs> oh, I leveled up, so I got my health back. Very nice. Where they go? I know. There we go. Eat it, Raider. Terrible aim on my part. See ya. Okay, this weapon's growing on me now. Okay, hey. Hey, lady. Oh, whoops. Come on out. Let me shoot ya. I just want to shoot you. Did I hit her? I can never tell if I'm... There we go. That hit her. she dead? Yeah, she's dead. Okay. You know, people following my trail, of course, would be like, Why does this guy strip naked everyone he kills? Psycho and Tarberry, whatever Tarberry is. Uh, okay. Scalpel, cool. And let's see, I don't know if that was all the raiders. But we're going to explore and take things anyway. Pre-war money. Okay. Cap stash, very nice. I'm not hearing any more shooting, so I'm imagining that we're all done with the battle. And I probably have to find that guy who was on the roof. Oh, 
Oh, there's more raiders. Ah, shit. Back up, back up. They're only on caution. Uh, the problem being that I still can't figure out vats. Oh, I just figured it out. Apparently it's L1. All right, let's see. Don't start talking crazy about not doing drugs. That's funny. All right. Careful now. We're going to pop around. Vats up. Let's see if we can't get a sneak attack. What is happening? Oh, this is different. This is very different. Torso, all of them. Here we go, except... I think he's dead. Let's equip our pistol. <laughs> satisfying. Just, just satisfying. Okay. A lot of blood sprayed out of that guy for a Fallout game. Okay. Very good. I bet I could have shot that thing and blown them up, but whatever. I like how minimalist the ammo counter in the right is. I also like the way that for the most part they keep your HUD low and kind of out of the way. So even with the HUD on, it um, stays kind of immersive. You know, these guys aren't showing up on my compass as red dots, and I'm wondering why? Is there a perk for that? Is my perception not high enough? I just, I don't know. Shit. Yeah, there's somebody here. You don't want me to be here, though. Can't tell if that was a sneak attack or not. I think it should have been. Okay. Oh, there's a red dot. I ain't scared of you. He's got a sword, I think. Yep. Perfect example of my terrible aim. Actually, I think that's a pool cue. Yeah. Who said that and where are you? Anything in here? No. Okay. Upper skull. No, no, I don't need that. Inside where, Preston? Where are you? Preston! Where are you, man? Is that you? Oh, hey! Your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe? You owe, you me. owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I got my own problems. problems Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us? Maybe we can help you. Okay. Um. I will ask about my son. Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. Or maybe he's two hundred and ten years old. Know how this world can be. A month ago, there were twenty of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Okay. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? The things I've seen. The things I've done. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Better be a good one. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. 
pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Mm, nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrae. <laughs> Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Oh, I dig. And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. Uh... The answer's no. I'm out. Just like that, huh? You come this far, then condemn these poor people to die? All right. Have it your way. Stay safe. Maybe at least one of us will survive this. Okay. So. Okay. Um, I'm going to end this video here. We're getting kind of long. I'm going to do the videos less by, like, what has happened in them and more by just time limit. So we're going to stop this one here. Uh, we'll pick up right here with episode three. And at the beginning of that episode, we'll flip the coin again. The coin of morality, as I'm going to call it from now on. Uh, I know we didn't get to see me be too big of a dick this time, but I can already tell that as we get into the game, we'll talk to more and more people and have more and more chances to uh, live up to our morality coin flip. All right, well... Thank you for watching, as always. Uh, feel free to leave any tips and hints you can think of in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the video so far. And don't forget to check out the description to see to go check out um, GameWiser. I hope I'm saying that right. GameWiser's channel. I will add a link. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.